and welcome back. This is your man, Warrior, and today's going to be a review. It's an in-depth roster review of the RZA. Now, uh, I do these roster reviews for anybody who is a Patreon member. Now, I get these roster requests all the time. I do not have time to do a bunch of roster reviews, but I do make the time for people who are on Patreon who support me for a dollar or more. I've got a ton of people, Dean Suro, Dennis Diaz, Thomas Jennings, Dwayne Hoyer, Justin Ward, Blake Nelson, Chris Potke, Ryan Kafer, Brenton McSwinton, Voxel, Albert, Alberto, Tommy Race, Dennis Wagner, Wild Cheetah, Patrick Hefner, Tim Dargan, Tor, Yosanan, Tanner Goodman, and Utini Bikini. That's right. All of those guys, 18 or 19, uh, people are supporting me for anywhere from a buck to $10 per month. What that does is it goes in to help some hardware I've purchased that I'm paying off, and I've got some software that I pay for each and every month. But this is something I do for them. Now, normally when I do the reviews, I send it privately to them. Uh, the RZA actually said I could do this public, so that way everybody can see what an in-depth roster review is. I've done these before, so let's go ahead and get right into it. It's going to be pretty quick now that you know what it is and why I'm doing it. So the first thing I look at is his basic stats. We're looking at his PvP battles, and 369 PvP battles tells me that um, he had 366 the last time. That means he's done like three battles since I looked last, which means that he's been playing for less than four months. So we're talking about a character, a guy who's playing the game, who's been in less than four months. By the way, shout out to Victory Mark! That team is who he's with, so that's pretty awesome. Um, normal battles one and hard battles one, pretty low. You can see how low those are. That means he has been, in fact, playing, like I said, for definitely less than four months. Um, Galactic battles one, um, 863. Total guild raids one, uh, 43. Now, what I'm looking for is a ratio of at least a thousand raid currency per raid. So I'm looking for about 43,000 guild currency. He's got 48,000, which means he's in a decent guild. And then gear donated for being in the game for how long he's been in the game for. 163 gear donated isn't bad at all. Now I'm looking to the left and first impressions of his arena team. Well, one, um, he is not a full-blown whale. He's not a complete 100% free-to-play player either. He has invested a tiny bit of money into the game, but for where he's at and the little bit he's invested, it looks awesome. Um, the Wedge Biggs combo with Boba Fett, definitely the way to go is awesome. Uh, it looks like Emperor Palpatine's been unlocked and is gear 10, so that is good. And he's got fives in there, which is a pesky person to deal with. He's at rank 30, which is awesome. That is really, really great. Um, so I'm excited to see that. I am excited to do this roster review to show um, how he's doing and, and what areas we can improve upon. So let's go into his inventory and I'm going to go ahead and first talk about his arena team. And so let me just go back real quick on his arena team. Um, someone that I would like to see on his arena team, um, the RZA, what I'd like to see you do, and you can use your arena team obviously for cantina battles would be to get an auto taunter on there to protect your wedge and bigs. You don't have um, shore trooper all the way and, and bays all the way up, but you do have them in your um, in your inventory. So I'd like to see um, both bays and shore trooper are those first and second characters. I'd like to see them one of those two integrated in, and I think of the two that bays is the better of the two. Now, unfortunately, you got your shore trooper um, starred, geared, and leveled up a little, oh, quite a bit higher than Baze, but I would suggest um, getting that Baze up there for Arena, but you can use shore trooper. I definitely think an auto taunt's going to help, um, especially with your uh, wedge and bigs um, to get in there. So let's go ahead and go through here. First, I want to go through, now that we've done Arena and you know that I, I suggest you add Baze to the team, um, let's go ahead and go to light side missions. And um, with light side, let's go ahead and go there. Uh, we'll go to power. We're going to make sure that we have it kind of sorted by who you've been working on. So I'm looking at your list, the top row, keep working them. Second row, you know, keep working them. They look good. Third row, keep working them. Looks great. You know, I wouldn't put a whole lot of effort into Clone Wars, Chewbacca, or Luke Skywalker as far as looking at light side missions. Um, but when I go to the bottom, what I'm looking for is characters you're not really working on and you should be working on. And of course, I've already mentioned Baze. You can see Baze Malbus kind of right in the middle there. Um, but I see you have Ayla Secura unlocked. 
I would highly recommend you get her up. She's excellent as a leader in the P1, phase one of AAT tank raid. She's gonna be great if you end up needing to, uh, well, any arena team because she's she's great with stunning when she crits. Uh, she's great on a Jedi team. Also, we're going to get into it in a second, but you don't you only have your Yoda to five stars. You can see it kind of Yoda's in the middle left and um, you're going to want to get him up to seven stars. Ayla is a superstar in getting Yoda seven stars. So I would recommend on the bottom right, Ayla Secura, get her leveled up, geared up, definitely invest in her. OK, the rest on the bottom, I wouldn't worry too much about. I mean, at some point you might want to get Jawa Scavenger up if you want the critical chance mods. But otherwise, the first bottom row only Ayla is who I'd worry about. The next row, if you decide that you're going to go uh, clones, because I know you have a few clones leveled up, you might want to consider Cody. But in the second row, really, the only person I'm seeing that you really should focus on is Bayes Malbus. And I would use him in Arena right now. He's excellent auto taunter. Um, you know, he's got the retribution. He's very tanky. And he's good all by himself. You don't have to have Chirrut, which a lot of people say you do and you don't. Um, so that's that row. Um, the next row down on light side, um, I see a bunch of people that you're working and keep working them but i see stormtrooper han he's only a four star uh green gear i think that's like level two or three um i think it's level three and then he is a four star that stormtrooper han is one of the you know top three tanks in the entire game i would definitely recommend you get him up high for the emperor palpatine event you have a five star emperor palpatine so you want to get him to seven stars stormtrooper han will definitely help you do that uh to make sure that your team goes first and clears out those levels so i'd focus on stormtrooper han so on light side you notice i've recommended basically ayla sakura i've recommended stormtrooper han in bays now once you get down in further development, you may want to consider someone like, like I said, the, the Jawas or the Ewok, Elder, things like that, and eventually maybe Yoda. But um, other than those three that I just mentioned, I would use the existing characters you currently already have in your lineup for the light side missions. Um, you've got plenty to do a really awesome team for light side. Now let's go ahead and move on to dark side, see what you are working on and what you should be working on. So the first thing I noticed, let's go ahead and go to the bottom. Um, obviously Death Trooper's brand new, you unlocked him. I'm not gonna give an opinion on Death Trooper yet because I do not have an opinion, um, but he, everybody's gonna have him. He is pretty squishy, but in the very bottom row, I notice um, IG-88, you're gonna wanna uh, develop him for sure because you're gonna use him on your Scoundrels team, or at least you should <laughs> use him, and Scoundrels should be important to you because that's where you're gonna get all your credits from the credit heist and your, your training bots from the training bot uh, uh, event that they have going on. But the bottom row, definitely IG-88. You've got Asajj at three stars. She's kind of cool against the current meta, but she's more utilitarian. So I would put her on the back burner, but definitely IG-88. Next row, I see B2. I would highly, and I mean highly recommend you get B2 leveled up, and geared up, start up, all of it. Definitely, he's the guy in the second row I would focus heavily on. And then, um, let's see, in the third row, I see Sunfac. Um, he's truly, in my opinion, the best utilitarian tank in the game, hands down over every other tank. That's my opinion. That's Warrior's opinion. But definitely want to get Sunfac. So you've got IG-88, you've got B2 Battle Droid, and you've got Sunfac all at level 1 that you're going to want to level up and get higher. I notice you are working on the other characters above, so that is good. Continue to work, obviously, IG-86, um, TIE Fighter Pilot. I see that you're gearing them up, so that's great. Continue to gear those characters up. The one character I do not see in your dark side that I would recommend, and I could be off here, but I would highly recommend it, is actually a, a Night Sister, Old Daka. Old Daka is going to get you the stuns, the heals, and she's going to help you complete all your dark side missions. She's an excellent addition when you're trying to do those missions and three-star them for farming purposes. And I don't see her on here at all. She's an easy farm. So definitely continue to get your TIE Fighter pilot up. Um, start getting your Sunfac and your B2 um, up as well and IG-88 up. Uh, so your dark side's looking pretty good. Boba Fett's looking good. Darth Maul, good on you. Darth Maul is an excellent character because his ship is, in my opinion the best ship in the entire game hands down over every other ship um, when you pair it with any other ship there are so many other ship combinations and all good ship combinations start with having a darth maul for sure so i definitely am happy that i see you him you have him there and if they ever rework savage you're going to have the savage darth maul combo pretty cool 
Um, but I see you've got Royal Guard. Continue to work him. That's excellent. Um, so there we go. You got lots of light side. Um, I told you, Bays, Stormtrooper Han, and um, Ayla for dark side. Continue to work your TIE Fighter pilot. Um, of course, get old Daka. You don't have her. Get IG-88 up, B2 up, and Sunfac up, whom you've already unlocked. Now let's move on to Scoundrels. Now, Scoundrels should be important to everybody. This should be one of the first teams everybody focuses on because this is how you get your credits and your training bots, and that's how you're going to get everybody leveled up. <laughs> so um, you definitely want to do this. Everything costs credits in the game. So on Scoundrels, Boba Fett, excellent. What I noticed that you're missing here is Lando. So the one character for Scoundrels I would say you absolutely critically need that you need to be adding onto here is Lando. Lando Calrissian is an excellent scoundrel, excellent rebel, and um, he's going to help you out on many facets of the game. But Boba Fett's phenomenal. Um, I also see I had recommended to you to get your IG-88 and your Stormtrooper Han up when I talked about light side and dark side missions. So definitely Stormtrooper Han, IG-88, Boba Fett, Lando, and then I would either work Dengar or you could continue to work uh, the Clone Wars Chewbacca. Really, Chewbacca is going to be a place card holder. Um, he's fine. He's tanky. He's not really going to die. So you don't need him that high. Where he's at, seven stars, gear seven, is probably sufficient for the rest of its, his life. Um, unless you really, 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 really love him. He's just more of a placeholder until you can unlock Han Solo in the raids. And so there's that as well. So that's excellent. As far as the Galactic War goes, you've got um, a really great setup for um, Rebels, for Galactic War, you know you've got your Bigs and your Wedge, you've got Admiral Akbar, you've got the Scarif Rebel Pathfinder, and you know you've got like Princess Leia, and if you get Stormtrooper Han or, or um, Baze Malvis up, those are great tanks that you can throw into this um, Admiral Akbar Bigs Wedge combo that will help get you through the Galactic War each and every day. Um, the other thing I noticed is um, Empire, you kind of are starting to develop a really great um, Empire team, and that's smart of you. You got Emperor Palpatine, Shore Trooper, Royal Guard, TIE Fighter Pilot, and Darth Vader. Those five I would highly recommend um, leveling up. They're your top five currently, and it, they're excellent. Like I said, the Death Trooper is probably going to be one you'll want to start focusing on soon, but I don't have much of an opinion yet. Now, when it comes to getting your Yoda event, because you need to get Yoda six and seven stars. You have a really great setup. I would recommend, you know, your Qui-Gon Jinn, Ahsoka, and Jedi Knight Anakin for sure, those three. And then you can add, hopefully, Ayla Secura in the mix, like I suggested. And then you can either put in Obi-Wan or Mace Windu. Mace is excellent in there. He's a heavy hitter and real tanky. So there's that to get your Yoda. And then let's move on to your Emperor Palpatine. Again, you're going to need to use Rebels. Again, I would highly recommend Lando. Um, in your Rebel lineup for both Scoundrel events for Credit Heist, but also for the Rebels. And so if you do that, um, that he's going to be a seat, plus your Biggs and Wedge, um, Admiral Akbar, and then either Stormtrooper Han or Baze Malbus, um, That Those five are really going to be phenomenal uh, for uh, unlocking, getting your Emperor Palpatine all the way to seven stars. So you're doing really, really well. You're focused pretty good. There's only, a, like I said, a couple of characters that I would focus on. Now, when it comes to ships, a um, couple of the characters that I see that you're kind of developing um, that we want to talk about is Mace Windu or Admiral Akbar. It looks like you have them both seven star and gear eight. And so they're probably, you know, six of one, half dozen of the other for you. You're probably not sure which direction to go. So with Mace, that's a more defensive team. If you're doing really well in ships and you want to have a more defensive team, go with the Mace. If you're kind of wanting a more balanced team with some good offense and some good defense, I would go with Admiral Akbar. But pick one and focus on that character and make that character your February focus character. Get your main ship commander up as high as you possibly can so you can do the very best in ships that you can do. I'm not saying put a ton of energy into ships, but ships provide a lot of currency to get a lot of the characters that I'm suggesting, such as Sun Fact to seven stars. So definitely um, focus on either Mace or Admiral Akbar. My suggestion and my preference is a more balanced approach, and that would be Admiral Akbar, but you can do what you like. If we go to ships, um, I'm suggesting, of course, we're going to go ahead now and do all of your characters. 
And if we're going to do ships, the three that I'm going to say that you need to focus on really um, getting and leveling up would be your Sunfac because he's got a phenomenal tanky ship that can stun if they have a buff. And you have Sunfac right here in the middle right already at five star. I would definitely get him leveled up for so that way you can use his ship, buy his ship um, in the Galactic War Store. TIE Fighter Pilot has a great ship and you have the TIE Fighter Pilot. You're already working him. And so he's right here kind of in the middle of the, of the pack. I would continue to focus on him both for your um, dark side missions, your Empire team, but as well uh, for ships so you can get his ship pretty easily. Um, and farm it. And then a surprise for a lot of people, I'm sure a lot of people are going to be like, what? Is you can only get it in the ship's uh, sh store, the ship store that they offer. It's the only place to get his ship, but Poe Dameron, you've got him six star gear six. So it looks like you're kind of excited about uh, Poe and it looks like you're working him and getting him up. So awesome. I would continue to focus on Poe Dameron and get his uh, ship because he has one of the heaviest hitting ships in the entire game, especially with t uh, characters or ships that have already been uh, had their protection stripped. He it does significant you know, 70 to 90,000 hits. I, I, I get 70 to 1,000, you know, 70,000 hit uh, all the time with him easily. So Poe Dameron, and I see you're working him, so that's excellent. Um, and then I do see that you're having a little bit of fun with like Echo and Rex and some of the other, you know, Clone Sergeant, and there's Rex and there's Fives. So I do see you're kind of focused on um, clones, and I'm telling you, if you're going to do that, then go all in and do your first and second Zetas as Cody and fives and build an awesome arena team around your um, clones and you can also use them in phase two of the AAT tank raid. Uh, so anyway, long story short, your for how little you've been playing, your roster looks amazing. You're doing a phenomenal job. You're in the top 30 for arena, so congratulations. I would suggest throwing Bays into your arena team. For light side, make sure you get Bays, Stormtrooper Han, and Ala Secura leveled up. They're going to be Super critical for you down the road. For dark side, continue to focus on TIE Fighter Pilot. Sun fact, get old DACA. You're not going to regret it. IG-88 and B2. For scoundrels, of course, I mentioned Stormtrooper Han and IG-88, but you can also level up your Dengar or your. Uh, you can continue to kind of work a little bit on your uh, Clone Wars Chew Chewy. <laughs> um, and then for Galactic War, I'd, I'd have an Empire team. I'd have a Rebel team. I would definitely focus on those two teams so you can kind of work through Galactic War each and every day without problems. And then I'd get Sunfax ship, TIE Fighter Pilot's ship, Pose ship, keep developing those characters. And then Mace or Admiral Ackbar, bro, but I would go Admiral Ackbar. So I hope this review helps you with what to focus on and where to go and i hope that it talked to all areas of the game i hope everybody watching has learned something and how to kind of focus and if this is something that you would like now i have i literally have a hundred of these requests a week i can't do them all but if you support me for as low as a dollar a month i will do these reviews for you as well Otherwise, for everybody else, just continue to watch my videos. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe the videos with your friends and, and uh, guildmates. And as always, keep your gaming on. Warrior, out.